and right now I believe you feel comfortable in Capture One. Maybe not fully yet if you are starting, maybe still few things are not very clear, but I'm going to make sure everything will be absolutely clear just in a second. So let's start our raw processing uh, to prepare ourselves for work in Photoshop. And first of all, I need to choose the image. Of course, I have great images over here. I have also these beauty images here for later and outdoor images. So like, I'm not going to work with outdoor images yet because I want to start with portrait. I want to make this um, nice hierarchy for the course. I want to start very separately with the basic portrait and then uh, go into different things. So I really love this portrait actually, but I'm not going to choose this right now for my first retouching because I want to choose the best possible image in terms of learning values. So like this image is really well presented. The skin texture is really nicely visible. We have all of the spots. We have eyes really nicely presented. Everything looks uh, perfect to, to learn from this image and for me to teach on this image. So I believe it's absolutely great example. And let's start from the very beginning. So I'm going to start with the basics I'm always talking. I'm going to pull up the shadows. And I'm doing this once again to flatten the image a little bit. It will be easier for me to retouch later if I'm I'm going to do this. So that that's the that's the reason for that. As you can see I already pull up some of the shadows over here and also I'm going to take down the highlights. So this image is a little bit more flat. Also, we could we could lower contrast. So it's helpful, but the very important thing is if you're going to flatten your image a lot right now, you're going to have more work later. So of course, maybe it will be easier for you to retouch, though you will have to work more later with contrast. So we actually make it easier for us but we don't try to cross the border to, to make it later difficult for ourselves. So we make it easy, but also to make easy work with contrast later. So as you can see, I'm not doing much here, just shadows and highlights. Also, I'm not going to work really with um, white balance. If I would have a choice, I'd probably go a little bit more into cold tones. But right now, I will try to solve this by local adjustment. So I, I'm not even going to try to do something on, on this layer, the, the main layer, but I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this BG, the same as before, as we were practicing before. And I'm going to draw the mask. I believe I don't have to explain why. You can change your setting by simply hitting right or pressing control and hitting and all the informations you have here. I have auto mask, which is really great. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this quickly. Why quickly? Because I don't want to waste your time. Um, you don't have to really rush in and doing your retouch, even though time is important. But I'm just trying to do this quickly because I don't want to make you bored. This is very important for me. Here I didn't do right, so I will have to fix this area just in a second. Okay, I draw my mask. It worked here. Though right now, I will have to switch my draw mask into erase mask. Well, wait, I wasn't doing this well erase and let's erase this over here just a little bit too much okay so right now i believe my mask is not too bad so we can move into color editor and as you remember i'm starting from advanced so what i have to do at first using this eyedropper I have to choose some color that will represent the background well, that allows me to pull down this warm background a little bit. So I think maybe somewhere here we have some of this solid color and also over here on the bottom. 
two different areas and let's try to use our hue rotation to get this color a little bit colder. So I'm going to pull up the saturation fully and go in with hue. On the right, we can see we're actually getting into yellowish tones, but when we go in fully on the left, I'm actually getting a little bit colder tones. So like, I'm sure I will go with this and maybe I would desaturate this a little bit. Also, I'm going to work with different one so let's let's try with it and once again i'm going to pull saturation fully and this one will work better for me i'm going to take down hue fully and saturate and right now my background is actually getting more sense it's a little bit bluish it doesn't have this purple anymore so it's something close i wanted to we can try maybe once again to, to work with it. I would take down hue, that would be too strong. And around this level, that would be making me quite happy. I have this nice bluish color, which is really good to start working with. What do you think? I believe even we can compare to other, we have some yellowish here, but now we, we turn this into rather blue tones. I could maybe even take down saturation. I'm thinking maybe I could do more, but I don't really want to overdo this. Like, um, not sure if that's a good idea. Or actually, that, that looks uh, great. So, I know I made a lot of layers over here, but I really feel this is giving me something I was looking for. So, feel free to take a lot of um, say selections to, to check all of the colors. So right now we can take care of the skin tone, but of course we have to come back to our background. So I'm going to color editor once again to the skin tone and let's choose our skin tone, maybe somewhere here. So I would like to saturate this or rather desaturate. And I think desaturating this a little bit will look slightly better. Not too much, just around maybe three uh, points. And this image looks really good for me and I would love to start working with Photoshop. I believe you're going to agree. Let's have a look at different images. I believe we did really soft and great processing right now. So let's go into exporting section, check everything, name it. I can name it as an portrait number one that will be our first portrait let's find the destination choose folder and that's not my folder for sure i will walk through my messy desktop to my course and i can choose of course as a processed that will be the folder when i want to place my images so set as an output folder. We have destination, processed, format, uh, portrait number one as an output naming, and we can hit process. So finally, we can move to work in Photoshop. Let's process, and as you can see, time going quickly, and I will see you in the next lesson in Photoshop.